Roller Barrel Roll. Welcome to the Know, I'm Mika. I'm John. Nintendo has had a relatively small amount of console market share in recent years, thanks to that little blunder called the Wii U, but new research indicates that right in line with the Nintendo Switch's one year anniversary, Nintendo has done some impressive work to turn that around. In fact, one industry analyst expects Nintendo's good fortunes to continue so much that the company is already expected to surpass Microsoft this year in terms of market share, oh. despite Xbox's several year lead. It's a tale of two consoles. Hey, they already passed the Wii U in just one year, so why not pass the Xbox One in two? The new report comes from industry analyst IHS Market, who published some data about the console market in 2017 and what they expect to see in 2018, should the trends continue in the direction they're already moving. And it shouldn't be a surprise to learn that in 2017, Nintendo made some enormous strides to gain on Microsoft. According to the report, 2017 saw more than $10 billion spent globally on Xbox hardware, software, and services, which means Xbox One and Xbox One X sales plus service subscriptions and purchases made over Xbox Live. Meanwhile, the spend on Nintendo and its products was around $8 billion total. So Nintendo didn't make quite as much as Microsoft did in console spending last year, but the year before was a much different story because of how bad the Wii U was doing. That poor Wii U. Yeah, no one really liked it. Compared to the year before, Microsoft dipped year over year while Nintendo's console revenue doubled, which meant Nintendo caught up big time in 2017. Gee, I wonder what the difference maker was. No clue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and in the, in the coming year, IHS market predicts that the same trend will continue, which will lead to Nintendo surpassing Microsoft, despite Microsoft having a much bigger head start this generation. In total, IHS market is expecting spending on Nintendo consoles to generate somewhere in the neighborhood of over $11 billion in 2018, while Microsoft is expected to fall again, even further than last year to around $9 billion. So in short, Nintendo would jump past Microsoft for this generation in less than two years, even though the Xbox One launched four and a half years ago. Well, that's that's not that's that's not all though. Oh shit! Since Microsoft and Sony are both heading into the latter part of the life cycles for their respective consoles, while Nintendo is just starting to gain some more steam for theirs, the analyst expects Nintendo to not only drink a little bit of Microsoft's milkshake, but Sony's too. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> In their report, they state that even though PlayStation is expected to keep its enormous lead, it pulled in around, you know, just a mere 20 billion in consumer spending last year. Nintendo is probably going to siphon away some of that money for itself. While all of this is very impressive for Nintendo, it probably deserves just a little bit of clarification because it isn't necessarily about Nintendo selling away more Switch units and jumping past Microsoft in terms of raw consoles. Mm -hmm. It's about how much revenue they're generating off of their consoles versus the competition. There's a tiny difference there, but it's worth a noting. Although, to be fair, there's a chance they might do both. Nintendo recently announced they've hit just under 15 million Switches sold so far, with around 16 million projected by the end of this month. And on top of that, there have been some reports from the Wall Street Journal that the company is expecting to produce another 25 to 30 million of the consoles this year alone, putting them at 40 million on the low end, and you know, just 55 million on the top end of those estimates. That's a lot of Switches. Yeah. Uh, I don't have one yet, so maybe I'm one of those people. You're probably gonna be one of those 55 million. Maybe, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff you here. You are, yeah. Uh, we've covered <laughs> the ridiculous amount of milestones the Nintendo Switch has hit at length on this channel, but it continues to hit so many it's hard not to mention them. Just this week, it's been reported that now that the first year totals are in, the Switch has more than tripled the PS4's first year sales in Japan already, selling almost 4 million units. Yeah, and we know the Switch helped boost the overall console marketplace in general. In January, in January, the NPD reported that in 2017, hardware sales was up 27%, mostly on the back of the Nintendo Switch. At the time, the NPD said that on a time-aligned basis through the first 10 months of the market, Nintendo Switch has sold more consoles than any other platform in history. IHS Market says those good times are likely to keep on rolling too, claiming that the console market will grow by 4% this year after a massive jump in 2017 that saw the end of a two-year decline on console spending. In fact, 2017 saw the biggest growth in console revenues since 2011. So yeah, people are buying a whole lot of systems and the Switch's introduction helped spur some of that. But again, it's worth noting that this report is focusing on revenue rather than units, which means that Nintendo is getting boosted here by the performance of its classic systems like the SNES. That console launched back in October and easily surpassed more than 4 million units sold already. So they're cheating just a tiny bit here compared to Microsoft, who's only got the one console in the mix at the moment. I mean, two if you count the Xbox One, but that's Xbox's fault. They should make a tiny little sum Something. Like a mini Xbox, like an OG I Xbox? Yes. I don't <laughs> really know what you Would people buy that? Made. Yeah. Hmm. Yikes. Well, we don't know Microsoft's exact totals 
in this generation, but at the moment it's speculated that they're somewhere around the 35 million mark. And really we only know that from estimates made by analysts and from comments from third party publishers who talk about the size of the total console install base, which means we have to do some basic algebra to solve for X and that's complicated and I don't like math. I'm out of school, I don't have to do that shit exactly. anymore. Exactly. All that being said, when you look at the math, Nintendo Switch's install base could stand to pass Xbox One's by the Switch's anniversary next year. If Nintendo does manage to sell another 25 to 30 million Switches this year alone, that put them in similar territory as the Xbox One. Really, it all depends on how well the Xbox One X performs and if Microsoft wins any new console gamers thanks to some of its new initiatives around Xbox Game Pass. But Nintendo apparently has some enticing offers in the works for their subscription service as well, which is expected to launch this fall. So in short, damn. <laughs> Never doubt Nintendo, apparently, or the power of the Switch. <laughs> A year ago, we probably would have said that even if the console was a hit, it was unthinkable for them to catch up with either Xbox or PlayStation, who have had plenty of time to establish console marketplace dominance. But now, hell, who knows what the Switch can pull off. I'm not buying any more Xbox stuff. I'm done with that, yeah. so I think I'm gonna go Switch. Yeah, so what do you guys think of this report that Nintendo is expected to pass Microsoft in terms of console revenue, maybe even the units? Do you have Switch FOMO like John? Are you gonna buy one? Maybe. Well, let us know in the comments. <laughs> For future updates on the Switch and Xbox One, remember to like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to The Know.